Hi and welcome. Smart card is a physical access control device which stores and process authentication data and other sensitive data. In this video, I will discuss the security of smart card including its functions, its design and various attacks against smart card. Before moving further, please turn on the subtitles for this video. Now smart cards are physical access control devices which are used on personal access control systems or packs, for example electronic locks. Now smart cards are also used in credit cards for making online payments on different websites and smart card is also called IC card or integrated circuit card. Now smart card is a portable identification card and also the authentication card. Now the identification means that you claim someone to be and in authentication you provide a proof of your claim. Now there are three types of authentication factors and type 1 authentication factors is something you know for example your password. Now smart cards are part of type 2 authentication it means that something you have and type uh, 3 authentication is something uh, you are it means that your biometrics or your fingerprints or other physical attributes so smart cards are part of type 2 authentication and it is used in combination with the pin so the smart card data is encrypted and it will be decrypted once it will be unlocked uh, by providing a pin to the access control system. So smart cards are one part of multi-factor authentication because smart cards cannot be used alone and these should be used in combination with an other authentication factor for example something you know your password or something you are that is uh, your biometrics or fingerprints. So you insert the smart card into the smart card reader and you provide pin to unlock the data so that it can be read by the smart card reader. So smart cards uh, are used to provide single sign on where you log in only once to the network and after you are authenticated you are provided access to all the resources without re-authentication. So Department of Defense in United States also uses smart card and this smart card is called CAC or common access card and it is also known as personal identity verification card or PIV card. So here I have displayed a sample of this card and this card contains a picture of the DOD employee and she has to uh, wear this smart card while she is walking around in government facility and once uh, she has to log into the system then uh, she will insert this smart card into the smart card or the access control uh, reader or system. So there would be dual factor authentication it means that she has to insert the smart card and then she has to provide a pin to the smart card. So smart card uh, may store and process uh, the public key infrastructure certificates or digital certificates or keys. So these are the encryption keys and therefore smart card is also called crypto module or hardware security module or HSM. Now the, these keys are used to sign different 
documents for example emails and also to encrypt different documents so in order to sign the emails you use your private keys and in order to encrypt the documents so that you can uh, transport this encrypted docu documents over the network you use the public key of the recipient and these all certificates and keys are stored in the smart cards so smart card contains the application data or the data which is required by different applications and smart card provide automation for accountability of your access to a facility and this smart card can also be used to account individuals while you are evacuating from some facility in case of any disaster so this accounting of individuals is automated using the smart card and this smart card can also provide access to online websites for example the uh, u.s air force provide access to certain the, uh, of their websites uh, to the user which is operating from the home so you insert the smart card into your personal uh, laptop at home and then you have to provide the pin uh, on the interface of this military website and then you are provided access uh, to this website now smart card contains the integrated uh, circuit chip or icc uh, which has the memory to store the encryption keys and other application data and the digital certificates and smart card also contain a a microprocessor to process uh, the information so there are certain attacks uh, which are uh, found against smart card and these attacks all uh, are side channel attacks so in these side channel attacks these are not the direct attacks or the attacks uh, which the designer of the smart card uh, has uh, think of so these are non-traditional attacks and for example you monitor the power utilization by the smart card while it is encrypting uh, some keys using some algorithms or you uh, monitor the timings of this encryption process so by carrying out this differential analysis you can guess uh, the key but it all depends upon the weak implementation of the al encryption algorithms or the electronics of the smart card or the radio frequency uh, mechanism used by the smart card so one of such attack is uh, the microprobing where you use a microscope to make electric uh, electronic contact uh, directly with the bus lines of the microprocessor so you tap into the bus line or into the microprocessor to override the microprocessor commands and to delete or manipulate the uh, keys or other sensitive data so one of this attack is known as dfa which was discovered in 2004 against the advanced encryption standard so this in advanced encryption standard was using 128-bit key. So in this attack, this DFA stands for differential fault analysis. So the attacker physically tab into the electronic circuit of the smart card to induce faults into the smart card uh, processor. And by inducing different faults, uh, he tried to drive the information related to the encryption keys. Due to these attacks, the smart card should be tempered free or tempered uh, resistance. It means that all the data on the smart card should be encrypted 
uh, or I can say that all the sensitive data on the smart card should be encrypted and in case of any uh, tampering with the smart card by the hacker or by any attacker uh, then this all data should be automatically wiped out now in, in order to sanitize or to destruct the smart card uh, you have to perform the strip sanitizing where you strip the or cut the smart card into various strips of two millimeters uh, width or you can also cut the smart card diagonally it means at 45 degree angles where you ensure that the chip and the barcode and the magnetic strip of the smart card uh, is destroyed so smart card is quite expensive solution due to the cost of the uh, IC and processor and also the smart card reader so the magnetic card is an alternative to this smart card because this is quite uh, cheap uh, uh, card and it is a passive card that you can only read this magnetic uh, magnetic card and you cannot uh, it cannot process any uh, data because it uh, cannot contain any IC or any processor so smart cards are of two types that is contact uh, less smart card and contact smart card so this contact smart card uh, has to physically insert it into the card reader and it do not have its own power so contact and contactless smart cards both do not have their own power or i can say that smart card overall do not uh, has its own power so power is provided by the card reader uh, either uh, electronically uh, by physically inserting into the card reader or wirelessly by uh, inserting uh, by touching to to the wireless card reader so this contactless card reader is also known as the radio frequency uh, identification card or uh, rfid card reader or rfid cards so this uh, wireless or contactless uh, card is also called RFID transponder because it respond to the RFID transceiver wirelessly so you do not have to insert the card you just have to place the card near the wireless card reader and it also uh, does not have its own power so there's an antenna wire which surrounds the card and once this card comes into the Electro, electro, electromagnetic field of uh, the card reader then this antenna wire provides the power to the card and this power is also used for input output operations that is for data transfer from uh, the card to card reader so both contact and contact less card reader can be hybrid or can be combi now once these cards are hybrid these card uh, use two uh, memory chips and once these cards are combi then uh, these card use one chip now this is the dod or department of defense in united states common access card and here you can see various details which are mentioned on this card reader so uh, on this card so this card contains the barcode and an ic chip and also a magnetic strip which is at the back side of this card and all, uh, so this card can be read by the barcode reader or it can be read by a contact uh, wireless reader uh, contact reader by inserting the card into the card reader and it can be swapped uh, on a a magnetic reader so there are various details which are mentioned on this card reader which you can see so this was all from my side please uh, stay connected to my channel for similar videos thank you